I mean, like, this is for my folks, you feel me? For, I just want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be woke, everybody to smile. And, like, every day that pushes me to go harder. So help somebody out every single day. Talk to somebody, you feel me? Help their life and change things around. I can't take away the bad, because the bad will forever be here. Yeah. But I can do my thing and try to help. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. Chilling right now, you know what it is. I'm with City right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, you doing your thing in Palm Beach. How long you actually been rapping in Palm Beach and stuff like that? Uh, probably like three to four years now. Three to four years. I say last year and this year is when I finally got my little buzz. Like, you feel me? Like, I finally got my little spark to go in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you continue to work. I think, is this your first interview? No, this is like my third one right now. It's my Word. third one. Um, you got you just dropped a video recently. Yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. My Time. You yeah. feel me? Link in my bio, my Instagram. You feel me? Go down, go in the comments, go in the lights, run the views up. What city you from? Palm Beach. Uh, I was born in Haiti. You feel me? I was really born in Haiti. I just moved to Palm Beach. And I stayed um, on the Toby side. You feel me? A little bit. Um, I don't really be claiming Palm Beach. Like that. I'm more of a Haiti baby. You feel me? Mazo okay. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So how um. How, how long ago you came out from Haiti? Well, I came here when I was five years old. So five. I'm 19 now. So ever since then I've been here. So so you came around, um, came to the States in a time where, you know, everything was going on. Haitians were portrayed more negatively yeah, than like, we are now. Me, it was like, damn, you Haitian, you dirty, you feel me? Yeah, you Haitian, yeah, yeah. you cats, so yeah. I How you dealt that. with situations like that? At first, like, it was, it was, you feel me, it was, it was, it would get aggravating. But then you realize it's like, no matter their words, it's not going to stop you, you feel me? You still yeah. got to keep going. It used to be hard sometimes because it was like, it was every day. But like, now look at it, you feel me? Everybody yeah. fuck with the zoos, now exactly. everybody, you feel me? So it's, exactly, I can't exactly. even say too much. Word, word, word. So you really represent Haiti um, a lot. What, what's your perspective on everybody else that's like representing kind of like more of like their block and where they're they from and, and all the tensions that, that come with all that stuff? And boys do their thing, you feel me, be safe. I don't mean, really, I don't really know too much. Like, I don't really, I don't know. I can't speak about day type of things, you feel me? I can just speak about how I do. I don't know how everybody's different. Yeah. Everybody go through different stuff. So, like, so, yeah. What inspired you to rap? You know, you come from, I feel, you come from a Haitian household and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, you know, is that type of thing, rapping and all that, is that type of thing frowned upon? Like, how's that like? My mom's brother used to be a rapper. But I got my inspiration from my brother, my brother Six. Like he used to rap and feel me. Like I used to do it too, but he was more of the rapper. Okay. And then my little cousin Cody, we used to always like rap and freestyle, and he got more serious ever since then. So your brother and your cousin, y'all, yeah. y'all started out rapping. Was your brother? How did your brother um, make it very far? Is he still rapping? Uh, he's locked up right now. Um, him and my cousin locked up right now. But they're gonna be home soon. So we're holding it down for them. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. You know that's that seems to be like the rea the reality for a lot of a lot of uh, oh, young yeah. folks in Palm Beach, pretty yeah. much everywhere. How have you yourself um, avoided getting yourself in the same predicament? Uh, I just stay focused. And, like I worried about my dream, I try to separate myself and go do my thing. And, like I just really for my mom and my little brothers. It's really why I'm going in there like this. Okay. All right, so you're from Haiti. You you came to the states. Did you come straight to um, Florida, or were you elsewhere? Then you moved down here. No, I came straight to Florida. Okay, where, where, where? And you've been in Florida ever since. Okay, what's your biggest goal that you're trying to accomplish with rap? Um, to me, it's it's more than rap because I, I I rap, but I say I'm more of a multi-talented entrepreneur. Okay. Like the rap the rap thing is just something I like to do. It's like it's it's fun to me. Like I I love music so much. Like I'm, it's more to music. I want to be more of like a business. I want to own a business. I want to be known like for a good purpose. I want to help the world. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I want to change. I want to do good. Music is just like for you to hear me and yeah. for you to hear my message and for you to hear my pain. Mm -hmm. That's really why for music. Right now. Do you think that's a difficult task to achieve with with an, with a rap image? Do you? Um, a, a lot of people, like a lot of rappers, came out as rappers and became more. You feel me? Yeah. So I wouldn't say it's really hard. It's just can't let nothing stop you. You just gotta keep going. Can't let nothing stop you. Okay. So I don't know. I, I asked that because there's, you know, a lot of discrimination 
you know, first first off against black men, and then you know, when you look a certain way, you know, it's it's in our history, you know, with dreads and stuff like that. But when you look a certain way, it's a lot harder to get by. Does that does that you know shift your decision at all? No, really. I don't really try to let. I don't let it bother me. Like it is what it is. It's like it's been here for too long. I'm not gonna let it hold me down. Like I said, like gotta go no matter what. Gotta go no matter what. As far as your name go, Lil T Five. How you got your rap name? Uh, from a middle school friend, she gave me the name T Five. And um, ever since then, it was just like T Five. I put the look, cause like the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like everybody had L I L. So I put L U H like Lil T Five. Something like that. Yeah, I'm sitting there, I just ran with that. She just called you T5. You, you, you ain't play sports? Five wasn't your favorite number or something uh, like that? No, I really wasn't. I wanted to do sports, but anyway, I was really a sport guy. My, my favorite number is seven. I'm yeah, 1017. That's like my spirit, my answer number right there. Okay, where, where, where? Now, moving on to the music, what's your most successful song thus far? And what really got you thinking that I might really be able to do this thing a long time? Creep Your Window. What is it? It's called Creep Your Window. It's on um, a song, like, after I put that song out, that's what really gave me that name in Palm Beach. Like, everybody started hearing more, seeing more, and posting it like that. Yeah. And ever since then, I just been dropping more and going in. But Creek Day Windows, like, that was, like, my biggest song, I felt, for me. Okay, okay. Was that the first song you made? Mm -mm -mm. My first song I made was a long, long time ago. I remember uh, when I first posted it, somebody had called me, what is this? Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but it, like... I developed, I got, I went from all right to me now. Like, you know, I found my style, I found my flow. I have my own sound, and I'm different with it. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I, I know it's more so a, it's like an evolution when you're an artist. Mm -hmm. Because you have, first you have the talent that you know you have, mm -hmm. and then you have to develop that voice mm -hmm. and actually um, grow the confidence to put your, your art out there and have it be accepted. Um, when when was that shift for you when you realized this is what works for me and this is what I'm going to stick to doing? Uh, that was, it was what, around the beginning of, no, the, the ending of 2018. It's like, after I started, I, I ran into um, Slit, who Slit, and you feel me? When we started collabing together, it's like, I kind of found my sound and he was coming with the beats and like, we just, I don't know, we just worked so good together. It's like Metro and Thug, you feel me? Like, word, word, word. We just, it just, that's how I really came up like that. And I knew this is what I'm going to work with. And like, he could make my sound come out better. Like, okay. He make my sound sound good. He a, he a primary producer right now? Uh, producer, uh, Snip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, producer, okay. But he hop on the track too and stuff like that? Nah, nah, you? nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you said, uh, you know, your primary goal is to be multifaceted, be an entrepreneur. You know, have what's what's your um what's the one thing you gonna go to post rap? You feel like, you know, this is something I'll invest in. Um, I want to open to like books and movies. Like, I want to show the truth, like from my like not from my um, perspective, but like from the real world, from the third eye type of perspective. You feel me? Okay. I want to show the truth. Like, that's where you are. I just want to make sure I get that name. And once I get that right name. And they gonna hear once they hear me and listen to me. I'm gonna show them the truth. I'm gonna try to put out the truth. I don't know what's gonna happen after that. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just open up. I'm gonna open up the world. Open their eyes up. When you say when you say truth, are you speaking in terms of uh, what politics, or what's your what's what truth are you gonna be? Not really politics. Disclosing. Like like the true the true um, true meaning of life. Okay. Like spirit that on spiritual like the spiritual thoughts. Um, the real back then, like you feel me, back then we was kings, we was all of this, we was never no slaves, we didn't start off as slaves, right. that's not how it was, we was all kings, we was all doing so good, it's how the system came, like it's more about the system, the truth about the system is what I want to do, and like open that, take all the codes away, show the truth to everybody, some people not going to accept it, some people will, yeah. as long as they hear it and see it, some can believe and you feel me like that. I think on that note, um, brothers who, who do stuff like that, 
especially when you have a, a another career in, in rap, your reputation, those who oppose you tend to, you know, go after your reputation. Do you think that's going to do anything negative to your rap career? Oh, I know um, the system, the government, the folks, they don't really try to, oh, no, you know how they, you know how they get, like, yeah. they do some weird stuff. But I'm not really, like, like I said, I'm not going to really let nobody opinion, nobody judgment bring me down and try to stop me. No matter if it's not with the music, somebody's going to hit me. I'm opening somebody's mind. So it's like, I don't know, they, they can't stop me. You know, they could talk bad about me. They could say this, they could say that. I'm not going to stop. Yeah. You know, once you get people listening, they're going to keep listening. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. How would you describe your work ethic? I know I see you. I see you a lot. I think even before, you know, you messaged me, or I ran into your Instagram. I've, I've seen your face, mm -hmm. you know, around. You know, how would you describe your work ethic and the way you go after it every day, and your uh, motivation to do so? Right for my brothers, you feel me? Like for my family, every day it pushes me. Like it's a lot of pain. It's a lot of sacrifices. Sacrifices I got to take. Uh, Really like this is for my folks. I just want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be woke. Everybody to smile. And like every day that pushes me to go harder. So help somebody out every single day. Talk to somebody. You feel me? Help their life and change things around. I can't take away the bad because the bad will forever be here. Yeah. But I can do my thing and try to help. You, you know, um, when chasing your dreams, sometimes you do. Do you feel like you get consumed? Are you, are you feel yourself getting consumed yeah, when you're doing yeah. that? Sometimes, sometimes it's like, damn, like, like, damn. Yeah. Why this gotta happen right now? Like, why this gotta, why this? But you can never let it stop you. You can never let it stop you. Because when somebody goes, they gonna want you to do better. They don't want you to stop and shut down right there. Because life keeps going. Life continues. And you gotta continue with life. What's your biggest regret, like as an artist, like thing from the from day one? You feel like I should have moved. I should have moved different when I did this. Um, um I don't really know. I don't know. Every, everything I I done made a lot of mistakes, but it's like I needed the mistakes. I needed them else. Yeah. I learned from them. Like it's not gonna be an easy route. If it's easy, it's not meant to be. You gotta go through your obstacles. You gotta go. You gotta take some pain. You gotta take some else. It's gonna make you a boss. That's how I feel, so it's like, I can't really have no regrets. I did what I did. I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. It's like that. I think you dropped a mixtape. Yeah, no, no, oh yeah, I dropped my mixtape this year. Yeah, 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 what's it called again? Thoughts of Agony 2. I'm sorry? Thoughts of Agony 2. Thoughts of Agony, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thoughts of Agony 2. Um, you know, I, I recently started listening to that when you hit me up. You put a lot into that, that mixtape. Um, yeah. You know, that's still your latest project. Is there something in the works? Or oh, yeah. are you still pushing that out right uh, now? No, um, something coming up called yeah. Sacrifices. That's, a, uh, that's, a, that's an entire project? Yeah, that's a whole new project coming up. Right now, there's no official release date. But feel me, like, but stay tuned. Something's gonna come. Sacrifices. Yeah, sacrifices. Your family sacrifices, different things. What are some of the topics you, you, talk, you touch on with that mixtape? Uh, or that more project? Of like, more of like, what I'll have to do to get to where I want to be at. And then a lot of things is like, what I done did, and what I like, like you said, what I regret. There's yeah. nothing I regret, anything I done did, is like, it's there. I'm telling you about me, I'm telling you about the sacrifices I had to take. The stuff I want, it's like, um, what's this word, it's a word, I forgot what the word is. But it's like, just talking everything to existence, oh, okay. or getting the truth, like true, some true pain about me. Yeah. Like, a whole new life that I want and the sacrifices that I had to take to get to where I'm trying to go. Yeah, I think I think uh, um the word the word you're looking for is um This is this been a popular word this week for me too, so I really wanna get it right. Yeah. I really want you to figure out what that word is. You yeah. think do you think do you think when you when you make it to the end of the tunnel and you got all the, all the glory and all the, all the things you need to give back. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's gonna be as perfect as you imagine it to be? I don't really imagine it to be perfect. I don't really believe it to be perfect. I just believe I gotta work and do what I, what I plan. I gotta 
going with my plan. It's like like it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of blocks. So you gotta break the walls down to continue. And once I get to like my little stop, I wanna open doors and open tunnels for everybody else. Yeah. And like help them on the way. It's like it's like that. I don't wanna be selfish with it. I don't wanna just get there and just chill rest. I'm gonna work harder and bring some other people in. So yes. everybody can help somebody, help somebody out. All right, all right. I think manifestation is the word you're looking for. Yeah. 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 yeah that's, been, that's been the word of the week, man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You 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 a pretty like intellectual brother. You know, how is how's your you know, how's your education thus far? And like how have you even if you self educated, a lot of people go to like public schools, private schools, they get all this education uh, but they're not really educated. You know how it was, um I, I dropped out. I didn't I didn't finish school, I didn't graduate. But when I dropped out, I didn't drop out as in like, oh, I can't finish. It's just that the spirits around the schools, the energies were so negative. Yeah. The teachers didn't really teach. It's the same thing repeating for life for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I was more out there, more out there in the streets, and I learned more in the streets than what I did in school. And not just certain street stuff, but like life. Like yeah. I done met a lot of open people, wise people. I done hang with a lot of older people. I done hang with like a young crew, but the young crew is my crew. Yeah. But the older people, I done learned from them. I done heard they losses. I done heard they L's. And I didn't heard their experiences. I just learned from that. I take what I could take. A lot of them been talk, talking to me about life, about the real world. And then I learned about the third eye. I, I just, I, I heard about it one day and I just searched it up. And I just continued from there and I just kept learning more and trying to open my mind more. Yeah, I think um, we take the word of mouth knowledge, uh, knowledge that can be attained from, from speaking to wiser people mm -hmm. for granted these days, especially as the younger generation. So, yeah, man, you know, we're closing in on five. That's about it, man. I want you to kind of um, tell us the important things going on. I know you got a, a mixtape coming out. I also know yeah. you always working, though. Mm -hmm. So I know you probably got a few singles in the bag, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what's going on with you, you know? And, and what can we expect post the epidemic? I say a lot of videos. Get ready for a lot of videos. I'm coming with some movies, not music videos. I'm going to drop movies. The music is so different. It's, I feel like it's it's really different around Palm Beach. Like I got my own style. I done, I done made my own style for around here. Uh, I got a label, Style Corner. You feel me? Free Cody, Free Six. My cousin just came home, so everybody about to be straight. The label is going like the South Pass. Just love South Pass. This is the label. You feel me? Yeah. With the Style Corner. You feel me? Yeah, what it called? Oh yeah, South. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Corner, I see that on your bio. So yeah, that's all. That's it. Um, I got a project coming up. Sacrifices. Stay tuned. Slick with the beats, you know Slick got the beats on it. Shout out to City. We are City.